Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Speed Round, where we answer a quick question every day to keep our group chat fun going all week long. I think we've talked here before about when kids are sick, but there's another phenomenon that takes place in families, and that is when adults are sick. Are we actually allowed to be sick? I'm not entirely clear on this, but uh, we thought we'd talk about what happens in our house when we or our spouses are sick. Catherine, you've just been dealing with this very thing. How's it going? Oh, my God goodness my husband was sick um for a long time i mean he was he was he missed a week of work um because he had just this really vicious virus and um he was just completely out of the picture (laughs) so um as i think i said on twitter i i liked the sleep all day phase of that illness better Mm -hmm. than the sighing and moaning phase that followed it (laughs) um I mean I did feel bad because he he really was uncomfortable and um in pain and and unable to do anything but yeah it was it was hard (laughs) because I was doing everything and I was you know begging other people for rides for my kids all the time because I can't be in two places at once and yeah yeah, so it was it was not fun. And then, you know, he was having trouble sleeping, so, like, he would just keep moving. He would just migrating around. Like, he would be in our room for a while, then he'd be in the guest room, then he'd be on one couch, then he'd be on the other couch. And in the morning, you'd see, like, the trail of pillows and blankets <laughs> where where he'd been. And, and for a while, I just slept in my on the extra bed in my son's room, which did wonders for my back. So yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> I, my husband doesn't get sick much, or if he does get sick, he doesn't admit it. Mm. So he just suffers silently. And you can tell by just the way he looks, or if he sleeps more than he used to, or whatever. Rarely can I get him to go to a doctor. And as for me, it's like, I live where I work. So it's really hard to get a sick day. Because mm-hmm. it's like the computer's sitting there, and it's well, perhaps if I could sit up, I could do some work. Right, it's really and hard when you're. Yeah, I mean, I know there's there's been at least one time when I had a flu that just completely knocked me out. You know, sleep and hallucination and all that stuff, and there was nothing I was going to do except be sick. But that doesn't happen that often. More often, it's the I feel crummy, but I probably still can do stuff. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of that. Yep. And we do stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about you, Nicole? Well, when I'm sick, life goes on and nothing changes. <laughs> <laughs> and when my husband's sick, we literally um, quarantine him. <laughs> He's. It could be a sniffle or it could be like a raging illness. He will still behave the same way. He doesn't listen to this podcast, so I can say that. But... <laughs> <laughs> He is atrocious. It's like a, a hospital emergency room <laughs> in his area. <laughs> There's gauzes and lotions and syrups and <laughs> a trail of Kleenex. And so we just, we're getting to the point now where we just want to slap some plastic sheeting up and <laughs> in the corner. Did you see that episode of Speechless where they actually did that? They did. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's pretty much my husband. We'll put some, you know, yellow caution tape around or do not cross <laughs> tape around and leave him in the corner of the house. <laughs> and yeah, he moans and groans and complains and we just kind of, yeah, <laughs> work around him. <laughs> so. Well, that's it for today's speed round. Come back tomorrow for a much longer group chat and visit parentingroundabout.com for all our weekly episodes. And, you know, stay well.